just got a wire that says you got a fugitive on board, Fred. Guess we'll have to give you a train to once over. All right, Sheriff, go ahead. Who is he? Name was John Brandt. Sent up for murder and got away. Brandt, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Read about him in the paper. Well, I hope you get him, Sheriff. I don't know this country very well. We'll go around the hill and head him off. Don't see a sign of him any place. That got him. Let's go get some of the boys and drag the lake.
Well, I guess you got me. <laughs> Come on out, stranger. I ain't so long. You're a pretty smart hombre. And you got plenty of nerve. It strikes me the boss could use somebody like you. What's your name? Smith, ain't it? That's the handle most of you fast travelers use. Ah, uh, that's as good as any. Mine's Jones. Say, you're pretty near all in, ain't you? Better come on up with me to the hideout and meet the big chief. We're short a couple of hands. a new man in to see the chief. Dick, I'd like for you to know my friend, Mr. Wait a minute, don't tell me. Let me guess. Name's Smith, ain't it? That's right. And we've got to something with him. Say, we need a new cook. The last one got hurt bad yesterday. I saw where that one came from, Chief. Your eyes is kind of going back on you, ain't they, Jones? Oh, no, they aren't. his own business or we'll be needing another cook.
$1,000 reward will be paid for information leading to the capture of John Brandt, sentenced to the Maryland State Prison when he was found with the body of George Wagner, wealthy club man in the Loveness Department of Mrs. Joseph Conlon. Brandt escaped from prison May 14th and is thought to have headed west. You know, that's the bird we lost at the lake yesterday. I'll have to send in a report on him. Funny thing about that case. The husband of the woman that was mixed up in it floats around these parts, too. I got a handbill on him just yesterday. He might have saved Brant if he'd only turned up and testified. At least why that's what Brant said at the trial. I wonder what would have happened if Brandt ever ran across Conlon. I'll bet he would have made it plenty hot for him. You sure made that plenty hot for me. <laughs> it was mighty fine of you to mix in that fight last night. It wasn't any of your battle, and I won't forget it. I won't either. <laughs> Smith, you get out of the trail and water the horses. I thought I was supposed to cook. Get going. Wait a minute, Jones. I want to talk to you. Just who is this fellow you call Smith? What do you know about him? Well, I know his name ain't Smith, but he's got plenty of nerve. And we could use a little of that around here. Besides, I know a square guy when I see one. Yeah. He might be a star packer. Some of them are square guys. <laughs> so you're worried about him, huh? Well, I'll show you he's all right. You know that safe job down at Sagebrush we were talking about? Well, Smith and I will pull that ourselves. Just the two of us. A star packer wouldn't do that, would he? All right. Pick him up down at the Crail at noon. And if you get in a jam, hide out down at Blind Pete's. All right, Chief. The law won't write in on us? Not a chance. They're all out looking for rustlers. Were you gentlemen interested in looking at something? I'll say so. Have you any uh, rutabagas? does the next mail get in? At three o'clock. Will it be on time? It never misses. Wouldn't you like one of these hat bands? Why, uh, no, uh, I guess that'll be all. Won't there be anything else? No. Well, maybe my friend here would like something. What will you have? Why, uh, I'll take the same. $10 each. 
My friend will pay for it. I'm sorry. I suppose you want more liniment for that rheumatism of yours. Well, how'd you guess it, Miss Sally? Did you limping like that? Oh. <laughs> I gave you the wrong bottle. Yeah? No, this is the right one. I don't know what's the matter with me today. Leave a couple of men in your store with the lights on or your safe will be robbed tonight. Do you think those fellows who were just here had anything to do with this? Why, no, they couldn't have written it. Why, I was talking to one of them all the time. I'd better tell the sheriff. We'll be waiting for them, all right. But without any lights on. They're right behind it. You get out. Don't wait for me. Come on, you're all right. You can hide out at Blind Peach, and it won't be no time before you're up and around. That guy looked mighty familiar to me. I wonder if it could have What's been... What's that, Sheriff? Oh, never mind. No use trying to trail him in the dark, anyhow. What's the dope, Pete? The three o'clock stage is carrying the mine payroll. That's all Walsh wanted to know. How Smith? <laughs> We can hardly hold him. <laughs> Where is he? He's in there.
Come in. How are you, partner? Oh, I'm feeling great. <laughs> and I'll sure be glad to get out of this place. Better wait a while yet, partner. We've got a tough job to do. We're sticking up the three o'clock stage down by the bend, and it ain't no place for invalids. Well, I'm glad to see you're coming along, all right. Well, so long. I'll be seeing you. Down by the bend. Yes, you'll be seeing me. Just a few minutes, boys, so get ready. Road agents haven't been very active lately, have they? Well, we've got them scared. Get rid of that gun. And don't turn around. I'll throw off that money box. Now keep driving straight ahead and don't look back. to be a good haul. Here he comes now. I tell you, he came up behind us. We didn't even get a look at him. He must be telling the truth, Chief. There ain't a sign on the box anywhere. All right, get going. Get it. Somebody pulled a fast one. Say, did you tell Smith about this? No. Besides, he couldn't have done it anyway. He's down his blind feet. Yeah. Well, get noted, boys. We'll split up and see if we can't find this word that has such taken ways of mine payroll.
Quick, Sally, come out here. It's important. was Joseph Conlon. He could have saved me if he'd have wanted, but he let me go to jail. Well, someday I'll meet him. When I do... I'm sorry, but why do you have to associate with that gang? That's just the kind of a place I'll find the man I'm looking for. And besides, I got a pal that doesn't belong there. Well, I guess I better be riding. Now, don't forget, in the hollow of a tree down by the forks. Oh, you can tell the sheriff you got another note. Oh, you've lost your hat, Ben. Wait, I'll get you another from the store. I didn't ex see you here, partner. How'd the stage job come off? Why, not so good. Somebody beat us to it. Fact is, the boys kind of think you did it. Looks funny, too, you being away. I'd sort of suspect you myself it hadn't been for the way you walked into that bullet the other night. <laughs> well, maybe I did rob the stage. Say, just where were you anyway? You haven't been over to see Sally, have you? You know, we're pals and all that. I like you fine, Smith. But if I thought you were cutting in on Sally... You don't think you're good enough for her, do you? Do you think you are? No. I don't. Maybe you're right. I might have been, though, if a woman hadn't double-crossed me. It was several years ago. I came out here from Baltimore. Baltimore? Yeah, why? I knew somebody in Baltimore once. I came out here to regain my health. When I went back, I found my wife in the arms of another man. We fought, and I killed him, Smith. I got away and headed out here. I've been a fugitive ever since. Was her name Conlon? What do you want to know for? I think I read about it in the papers. Yeah. I suppose it was in all the papers. Funny, I never saw one after I left. And you never knew what happened after that? No. I never heard any more about it. Well, come on, you need a drink, partner. You know, we ought to give up this racket, though. It's gonna lead us both to a rope necktie one of these days. Hi, boys. Here's a note I picked up down at Blind Peach. Well, boys, we've struck it rich. The mine shipping out a load of gold bullion on the afternoon stage. Tomorrow. I'm going to retire after this haul. Not a chance with Walt winning all back at cards. Well, my working days are over. That ought to be worth plenty. I'm afraid of that guy. Oh, he's all right. Ever since he's been here, somebody's been tipping off the sheriff. I think he's a stool pigeon. He's got the wrong dope on this bullion shipment, though.
What are you getting all slicked up for? Oh, I'm just going shopping. Shopping? For what? Here, hold this. I'm going shopping for, uh, for eggs. You know, if I don't have eggs in the morning, the boys will be squawking. Well, so long. Chief, I'm beginning to think maybe you were right about Smith. <laughs> well, sure took you a long time to get wise to yourself, didn't it? He's going down now to tell him about the bullion job, which ain't tomorrow. We're going to bring that stage up here this afternoon. The stuff's too heavy to move a horse back. I'll follow him and find out. If we come back together, he's all right. But if I send him back alone... <laughs> we know what to do. I believe that fellow Brad is still alive. Looked to me like it was him at the door the night of the store holdup. He must have gotten out of that lake somehow. I believe we better take these handbills over and talk to Sally. Say, Betty, take this to Miss Sally, will you? Sure. And see that she gets it personally. Thanks. <laughs> Sally, man outside told me to get this to you. Did you want something, Sheriff? Well, yes, Miss Sally. I wanted you to identify a couple of men for me. Were well, these the two men who were in the store the day of the holdup? I don't think these are the men, Sheriff. I don't believe I could recognize them. Well, maybe we're wrong. Thanks, Miss Sally. Sally, since you're so high, it's kind of hard to believe, but she knows more than she's telling us. Maybe we ought to trail her.
Hello, Jones. Where'd you come from? I just came in to help you carry back them eggs. Say, what's eating you? You aren't acting yourself. Oh, nothing. I guess I need a drink. Pete, fix me a drink. John, you've got to get out of here. The sheriff is after you. He acted funny when I told him about the stage holdup. And today he came in and showed me your picture on reward notice. Well, uh, that's mighty fine of you to warn me, uh, or us, Sally. Put up your hands, boys. The game's up. We want you, Grant. And you, Conlon. We ain't got a chance mounted like this. You head for the corral on foot. Get a horse and make for the abandoned mine while I circle around and draw off these star packers. Well, why should you take all the chances? I know this country better than you do. I'll meet you at the hideout. All right, Jones. Is he safe? Yeah, he's safe, all right. He's safe where you'll never see him again. I fixed a nice little party for him. He'll never double-cross anybody anymore. He'll never get you either. What a sap I am. You're right. You are a sap. You're the double-crosser. Why, you've double-crossed the best friend you ever had. He was sent up for the killing you did. He came out here to get you. Instead of that, he stayed here, even after he knew who you were, and tried to make you go straight. You've got to. Maybe. I'm a bigger sap than I thought I was. You find the sheriff and head for the abandoned mine while I try to head off Smith before the gang gets him. He's alone. Get your position, boys.
Oh, Sheriff, the Wolfgang is going to ambush Brad up at the abandoned mine.
Come on, a horse, Leonard. Bring him along. All right, sir. Inside. Put him up, boys. You're not going to get away this time. We're not trying to get away. I'm afraid this man's done for, Sheriff. Yeah. I'm cheating the rope. But before I go, I want to tell you. I killed George Wagner. Brandt didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't know. I'm sorry, partner. I'm glad. I always told Jones that bird wouldn't make good as a bad man. Shut up.